Whoa, what is this, guys? Is this what I think it is? Yes, it's the Ecofax AVA hat mobot. Yes, that's a handful. So basically what this guy is, is a mobile air purifier that runs on batteries, but one unique feature is it actually can roam around your house, and there's actually some cool technology. It actually creates its own map, and you can put uh, points on the map for where the device to go. Fancy uh, camera doodad right there with two laser sensors on the side. It's the same technology that uh, iPhones work with. Um, uh, In this video, we're going to go ahead and do the unboxing. We'll do the uh, initial review. I'm going to go ahead and look at the features. We'll see if we can install this on my smartphone. And as a disclaimer, this guy is not available here in the U.S. You actually have to go overseas to get this guy. Uh, Ecovac isn't planning on releasing it in the U.S. So um, that's just something I want to put out there. But I'm super excited to try out the Atmobot AVA. Now there's three models. There's the AVA, which is the smallest one. There's also the bigger brother, the Andy. And lastly, there's the Atmobot Pro, which is the largest version. You may have seen that on CES a few years back or a year ago. Whoa, look at this, guys. This is really cool. See that uh, LiDAR sensor right there? Uh, very nice. So we got this uh, foamy stuff. Let's get that foamy stuff out of here. Ugh. Cool foamy things. Toss you over there. Uh, let's see. We got, Here's the Atmobot itself. Flip you guys around. Probably shouldn't grab it by the LiDAR, but hopefully it doesn't break. Okay. I'm pretty oh. sure you're not supposed to put it on its head like that, but uh, don't do what I do, guys. Plastic baggy thingy. Yeah, let's see. Open up this bag here. All right, get out of there, baggy. Wow, this is really cool. Check that out. And it looks like it's very high quality. Very, very nice. Whoa! You see that? It's the LiDAR sensor. And no, the Domi knobby thingy. That's what I call it. The clickable Domi knobby thingy is not... Uh, uh, pressure sensitive. Uh, one interesting thing is, look at this, this thing has like a physical bump sensor or something? I'm not sure. And there's also like some additional infrared sensors on the side here. And this is where you take out the filter, just kind of push down and it pops out. Okay, so you guys can see that there's your physical power switch. Uh, very similar to what you see on the T8. And you got a reset button and there's your Wi-Fi indicator. And one thing I really like about the Ecovacs is that they do provide a uh, QR code, so you just scan it and it brings up your robot. It's a super easy pairing process. So it does support the uh, PM 1.0, which basically is particulate matter, uh, one micron or less. Uh, so it's actually very small particles. Also has a VOC sensor as well. Yep, there's the fan unit. It's one of those uh, centrifugal fans or like the circular fans. So very nice. Uh, it's very similar to what the Dyson is, I believe. Dyson has the same uh, technology. If I get stuck, uh, don't worry about me. There will probably be another YouTuber that can take my place. Instruction manuals. Very nice. Let's see what this is all about. Cool. So, cool instructions. Supports uh, I iPhone and also Android. And, but it looks like it's pretty straightforward. Has the same docking station that you expect from like the Ecovacs T8 or like the new N8. Yeah, did you guys know I'm getting the N8? Uh, on his channel, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be really cool for a vacuum from Ecovax. And here's some more information about it. And you got different uh, LED displays or statuses. So blue is, is excellent. Uh, you got green, which is uh, good. Orange is lightly polluted. And red is heavily polluted. Here's the main instruction okay. booklet. Gives you all the information about it. And the instructions here is in English. That's just kind of interesting. So cool. I'm gonna definitely take my time reading that because I have not. I don't know anything about the AVA, but I would like to learn exactly uh, what this guy's all about. Can't wait for that. So I actually read the instructions this time. Okay. And here's the docking station. Let's go and see if this actually makes a cool sound. Whoa! Yes, very nice. And let's view the top here. Yeah, not too bad. But yeah, very nice docking station. Got your charging contact. I do like the fact that you can actually wrap the cable around, so that's a huge plus. A lot of these docking stations are the same size and you can't wrap the cable around, but I like Ecovac's uh, docking station design and it has some good anti-slip feet right there. So cool, and this is where you put the power cable is right there. Okay, let's stop you there. Okay, so, all right, stop. Turn you off here. All right, I guess the thing's doing is, uh, has a mind of its own. I'm trying to film here, Atmobot. 
Okay, I guess I'll let uh, do it straight. Okay, one. did you know that this also acts as a babysitter? Yes, yeah, so you got a little one, you can actually uh, have it go to their room and play some music. Let's go ahead and try out this feature. And we'll go ahead and select uh, my daughter's room and we'll go ahead and save. And we'll go ahead and tell it to go there. Well, what are you guys thinking about the navigation? I think it's pretty good. I guess the Admiral Bot is not a big fan of the Roblox S7. Hey guys, alright, so uh, I went ahead and I found an ideal location for the Admiral Bot. I guess right next to Kimmy, they're both large robots and they can be best buds. Well, actually, I put it in this location because it's more of like the central area of my house. I felt like putting an air purifier in my central location would help uh, uh, air purify this area a little more efficiently than sticking in the corner. Um, so the setup process was pretty straightforward. All I had to do was just plug in the docking station to the wall outlet. Let this guy charge for about three hours. Once it's charged, I linked up the Ecovax app. It does support uh, Android and iPhone, so that's a huge plus. Uh, the pairing process is simple. You just scan a QR code in the back of the robot. Uh, one downside is kind of wish they brought the buttons up towards the top here. I know you, you really don't use those functions a lot, but having to remove the air uh, filter is kind of a, you know, just a minor inconvenience. But maybe in the next feature, they can bring the buttons to the top there. Okay, so let's talk about the app features, and then we'll actually go over like the, how this robot vacuum, what am I calling robot vacuum, how this air purifier works. So um, here's the main uh, map here of the uh, interface. It's very similar to like a robot vacuum. If you ever use like the Ecovax T8 or like the 950, it's a very similar interface. Now, if I select area, it's kind of interesting that they actually color code the areas. Um, even though the robot won't actually like use those color coded areas, it just uses the pins on the map. But that's just interesting they added the color code. Maybe it's just to help uh, show you to divide up the rooms or something, I don't know. But uh, one thing I noticed is you can only do five safe pins. I did reach out to Ecovax. Hopefully they can uh, provide an update to add more pins. But you do have the option to add your own pin temporarily. Now let's go ahead to go to the map management. So within each pin, I can edit the pin, uh, move around, delete it, whatever I like to do. You also can um, uh, name the pin. Unfortunately, you can't actually customize the name. It's only uh, predetermined uh, names. So that's just kind of a bummer. Uh, there's only a handful of names. So hopefully they can change that within a software update. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump back into here. It's pretty simple, it's basic, but it gets the job done. Now you have mobile, so what that does is within the five pins, the robot will actually go and drive to those areas and start purifying. So in theory, uh, if it's a really polluted area, it will stay uh, more in that area until it's back down to a normal uh, uh, time or normal level, and then it will go to the next area. You do have the option to actually customize how you want the robot to behave. You can tell it to do it at a certain time, or you can tell it to do it based on your senses. Okay, so spot is basically a um, stationary air purifier. It will just stay in that same spot and just um, purify. We will go over the interface shortly, but um, that's just a basic um, overview of the below. And you do have the return to charge feature, which the robot will go back to its docking station. And link is something that's kind of interesting. Um, it's called a device, uh, Aaron. Uh, it's like little, it kind of looks like little uh, echo devices, but basically they have a little LED display and they're like air quality monitor sensors. So if you did place those air devices around your home, you can actually have the robot go there if it detects um, high levels of pollution, which is kind of interesting. Uh, I did reach out to Ecovax to ask where I could get those, and hopefully they respond back to me about that. Okay, so let's go and uh, jump into the settings. There's not a whole lot with the settings. Uh, purification scenario is where you can customize the behavior of the robot. Uh, one cool feature is you do have sleep music, so yes, my uh, daughter loved this feature. She can dance to the music. Uh, you also have nature sounds. So if you 
like the white noise, if you like birds chirping, you do have that option. So it's, it's a pretty nice feature that they added that, and you can actually select the volume, the light control, and also what uh, part of the room you want that uh, feature to happen. Unfortunately, I can't specify like multiple locations, it's only uh, one location. Um, but that's a cool feature, they added that. And then you also have like scene scenarios, so you can actually tell it to go to a certain location within a uh, certain time. You also have home patrol, which will actually go to different locations, and you can see the one, two, three. So it will go to those locations in order. So that's kind of cool. Um, definitely very customizable, and you can customize to the way you uh, run your household. So for example, around 5 p.m., the wife cooks dinner. I'll have this guy go out there, uh, purify for about two hours. Once she's done cooking, it'll clean out the room and then go back to his docking station. But that's a cool customization there. And let's go ahead and jump back into here. So you do have child lock, so that's a nice feature. So if you have young children, or if you have someone that likes robots, they don't get in and play with the robot. And you do have volume control, light control, filter life just lets you know when to replace the filter. Do you recommend replacing the filter when it's uh, up because uh, it will optimize the most efficiency for the machine. Okay, so uh, that's basically it. Um, you do have the open close uh, window reminder. Uh, let's see what does it say. When turned off, you will not be reminded to open or close windows according to the outdoor air pollution level. Okay, so I guess there's uh, some database where uh, the app knows what the pollution is outside and will alert you to close your windows. Cool little feature. Okay, so additional settings, just basically rename your robot, about the robot, and help. Uh, with the help, you can actually get some information about the ABA. So very, very nice. Um, pretty clean interface. It's simple, but it works. Now let's go and just show you some footage of it running, and uh, let's wrap up this video. All right, so this is a pretty clean interface. You really don't have much going on besides the charging indicator and the uh, power button. Now let's go ahead and just press this once. So the robot will announce what mode it is. So spot purification means that the robot is just going to act like a regular air purifier, not uh, move anywhere. Now, you do have the indicator. This is the uh, PM 1.0, which is particulate matter per uh, one um, micron or less, which is a very nice sensor. Also, you got a VOC sensor. So there's different color codes. So right now, my air quality is uh, fair. But once it starts turning green or blue, then it uh, gets a little bit better. Now, you do have the fan mode right here, so right now I have it set to low. Let's go ahead and change it. I don't know, can you guys still hear me? It's, you can definitely hear it, I don't think it's too loud on its max, but you also have an auto feature. So what the auto feature is going to do is, depending on what the sensors detect, if it's a pretty bad fluid area, it will uh, ramp up its uh, fan speed, and then once it gets down to a normal level, it will uh, slow its fan speed down. So that's a cool little feature. Let's go ahead and uh, bring it back down to uh, low. All right, so over here is the two modes. Uh, right now it's on spot mode, but you can also do mobile mode. What that allows to do is the robot will go to the different desired location within this preset uh, uh, pins you drop down. So very nice. It's a pretty clean interface, nothing really to it. If you ever worked or uh, used an air purifier, it should be a pretty uh, familiar interface. Okay, let's uh, keep going on. Okay, so let me give you my final thoughts about this guy. I really like the uh, clean look of it. Um, I don't know, maybe they could have added like some styling to it. It's just all plain white, but I guess they wanted to keep a very minimalistic design. Now, the top part is very nice. It does have a nice LED display. It's multicolored and it has different colors to represent the different uh, air quality levels, which is nice. Now, one thing, I don't know if this is actually a big deal, is the LiDAR sensor is not clickable. There's no pressure sensor here. So I guess if you had furniture that was exactly this height, it might have caused some issues. But I think the true depth sensor down below is really good. It's able to detect a lot of obstacles and it does a good job knowing its size and kind of leaves a good amount of room around those obstacles. Uh, but for the most part, it's a cool air purifier. But would I recommend it? Well, I guess if you're into technology and you really value the ease of being able to move air purifiers uh, to each room without having to take the physical effort, then yes, this is a recommended buy. But if you're someone that don't mind moving an air purifier, 
I can't justify the price of just having it be like a standalone air purifier if you're not using the mobility uh, uh, function. But I really think it's a cool concept and I hope that EcoVest does bring this to the USA because I think there is a market to it. Um, I, I don't know, I guess I'm the one that likes new technology and I'm pretty sure like people that maybe have uh, mobility issues or can't lift the unit because this unit is actually kind of heavy. I think it's like, I don't know, 12 pounds or something. So it's basically a little bit awkward to move this air purifier to each uh, room. So having that uh, ability to move by itself is a really cool feature. Um, so other features is I think the HIPAA filter is pretty good. It's H13 rated, not 100% sure the classification or what it does, but uh, it's a pretty high-end air filter and it is classified as H13. Um, so uh, the unit itself seems to work well. The performance is good. It's able to clear up my room pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, I think if you value the mobility of this unit, then yes, get it. But if you just not going to move around too much, then I think there's a lot of great options out there. All right, so thanks for watching this video. You have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. And stay tuned. I bet the Ecovacs N8 uh, Pro Plus coming down the pipeline shortly, within a few weeks. Please give me some time. I do got a lot of uh, products, and I'm trying to get these out as uh, quickly, but provide quality videos for you guys. All right, be safe out there. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time.